What are the visible elements of the mobile network? Are there elements that we cannot see? Is the 4G network simple or difficult? Hello tech lovers, welcome to the first lesson of the course Architecture and General Principles of 4G Networks. But first, don't forget to hit subscribe button, activate the bell to be notified of a new video. Share, like, and leave your comments below. The first element is something that we all know well, because we carry it with us. It is the terminal. A cell phone or a smartphone, like this one. In the LTE standard, the terminal is called UE. UE stands for User Equipment. Within the framework of this course, a terminal can be referred to either as a UE, a terminal, or a cell phone. To have access to the LTE network, the user equipment must be equipped with a SIM card inserted into it. The SIM stands for Subscriber Identity Module, and it contains the subscriber identity, unique throughout the world, of course. It also contains the data about the subscription. Normally, the SIM card is the property of the operator. In 3G or 4G, this card is called USIM or Universal Subscriber Identity Module. However, in this course, we use the acronym SIM because it is simpler and often used to identify 2G 3G and 4G. The SIM card is found in equipment such as smartphone or a tablet, but it can also be found in a 4G K, a router that can be connected to a laptop in order to have mobile internet access on a laptop. In this course, we will not show the difference between types of terminals and all the terminals will be treated the same way. Almost every time we walk in the street, we can see antennas on the roofs of buildings, like this one, or on towers like this one. If you could make a zoom, we will be able to see clearly the antennas, like we can now. But what is an antenna after all, and what does it do? Antenna is a radiating device that transforms high-frequency alternating current into electromagnetic waves or the other way around. If we pay attention, in some cases, what we see is this, an antenna on a tower and beside it a technical cabinet. Inside the technical cabinet, we see a set of transceivers that will enable the radio transmission between the terminal, which is also a transceiver, and the network. So now, we have two things that are very different. A base station, that is to say a set of transceivers which is located in a place to cover the area around it, and the antennas. The terminal around the base station can communicate with the base station by radio transmission. In 4G technology, a base station is called E node B. The E stands for evolve, that is to indicate that there has been an evolution in relation to the previous generation. Node to indicate it's inserted in a network, and B for base station, of course. A mobile network isn't limited to antennas, of course. It is a group of base stations spread out over a territory. The base stations are connected to an IP network deployed by the cell phone operator. This network is interconnected to the internet, to the IP network of other operators, via one or several routers. We'll get into the details in other videos. 
we have two subnetworks, the access network and the core network. The access network is made up of the set of inode bits, as you can see in this scan. Because they are connected to the same IP network, they can communicate with each other. In the standard, the access network is called EUTRAN. EUTRAN stands for Evolved Universal Terrestrial Radio Access Network. Apart from that, we have the core of the network, which is called EPC. EPC stands for Evolved Packet Core. We have seen the EUTRAN network, which in 4G is relatively simple. There is a single type of equipment, the E node B. We'll see in the other videos what makes up the EPC. In summary, in a 4G mobile network, there is a set of E node Bs spread over a large territory. Each E node B is equipped with antennas. E node Bs are connected to NIP network and make the access network. Hey tech lovers, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share the video. I am launching one lesson per week, so it's important that you subscribe, activate the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Stay home, wash your hands and take care.